Hi everyone, today is a very exciting day. I've had a call from my solicitors this morning asking for authorisation to exchange and complete on the house, which of course I've said yes, please, please, please do. If you have watched any of my videos recently, you'll know that I've been sort of like in between houses and it's all been a little bit of a nightmare. So rather than directing anyone that's new over to those other videos, I'll just try to give like a brief summary of where I've been at over the last nine months with my house buying and selling progress because it has been all over the place. In July last year, I put my house on the market. It sold pretty quickly to a first time buyer. I was looking for my next property to buy. I saw a property at auction that I was really interested in, which ended up going for double what the guide price was or double what I was willing to pay for it, around about that. And house prices were basically just insane. I've not got a permanent job at the moment, so I can't get a mortgage. So I've actually made quite a lot of money developing property over the years. So I was going to be a cash buyer for my next property purchase but because of everything that's been going on obviously house prices are just insane at the minute I was really struggling to find something to buy my mum had a buy to let property that she was getting rid of I was initially going to buy that off her that didn't end up happening because once I moved in I decided I didn't want to buy it neighbours were a nightmare the house was too small so plans completely changed. I was then thinking I'll just have to wait until I'm in permanent employment, get a mortgage and then a new house came on the market that I saw that was within my budget. I put an offer in on that back in January and was hoping that that was actually going to go through pretty quickly because obviously being a cash buyer there's not the messing around with the mortgage and everything like that. It then turned out that it was basically the mother had passed away who owned the property, unfortunately, and they needed to go through probate, which obviously with everything that's going on with the pandemic, um, the probate office wasn't operating as usual. There was possibly more cases going through probate than normal. So there was a huge delay with that. Earlier on this week, I actually got an email from my solicitor saying that the probate had all been sorted out and we were good to go with things. I rushed around getting insurance for the house, transferring my money over and the solicitors were waiting on the sellers to confirm a date for completion, which was dragging on, dragging on. Anyway, it's supposed to be today. So I hope that that gave you a nice brief quick round up as to where I've been at with things because it has been a nightmare. This will be my second house move in just over four months. I'm not going to be moving into the property straight away. I want to do like a little bit to it, obviously because it's all last minute anyway. I didn't have a van booked. So hoping to move in there in the next two weeks. So I've not packed or anything yet. So this is pretty much going to be the start of the house move. So now I'm just waiting to get that phone call from the solicitors to say that everything's completed and I can go and pick up my keys. So I've just had an email from the solicitors to say that it's completed. So I'm going to give the estate agent's call now just to double check that they're okay to release the keys. And we are going to go to the new house. So that's it, we're in the house. I actually didn't think that this was going to happen today after like the solicitors weren't good at communicating with me at all and I kind of thought they're just going to end up ringing me saying we couldn't do it but they did so I'll give them the due. So the estate agents gave us this little moving box which is pretty cool. Just like some little snacks really, so Rivita, anti-back wipes, some oat cakes, corn, whatever that is, peanut butter, coffee bags, grenade, protein bar, there's a flora, what's this, oh hand sanitizer, and some fruit twists which is a um, nice little touch. Alicia's not looking too impressed at the minute. Where have you gone? Do you like a house? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I actually don't know where to start now. Everything is pretty dirty. Um, obviously I've not got anything packed to bring over. I've got some cleaning products in the car, but everything needs a really good hoover as well. And I could probably do with getting a feather duster. I've not checked the boiler yet because it's a back boiler. I don't have a clue how to work it. Um, so I'm probably going to have to get a gas engineer out to look at that before I start fannying around with it just for safety. So yeah, there's like loads to do. And I think the first thing that I want to get done is Alyssia's bedroom. She's going to have the main bedroom for the time being because it's going to be less disruption for her when I'm doing work on the other bedrooms upstairs. So I wanted to get the wallpaper stripped off, get some lining paper up, get that painted, put down a new carpet in there because in my plans of things that I want to do, that's actually going to be the last room probably that gets done. So it's going to be the first that has something done to it, if that makes sense. So over the next couple of days, the wallpaper stripping is going to start. And I've mentioned it many times before, I hate stripping wallpaper, but I'm actually quite looking forward to getting started on doing this. So the stripper will be brought over here tomorrow, I think, and I'll get started doing that. And Alicia, you're going to help, aren't you? Huh? With the wallpaper stripping, you're going to help? Sure. Sure. She hates helping me with stuff like that. So yeah, she's gonna get cracking now, maybe doing a little bit of cleaning, maybe grab a few bits out of storage. It's a really nice day. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. Gotta get all this stuff shifted. So we've got the stuff that was brought over from storage put away. I've bagged up some stuff that was left over as well to go to the tip. There is still some cleaning that needs to be done in here. I'm gonna go around with the carpet cleaner. Still quite a lot of stuff in storage. So my aim is to get that emptied myself. I've just got the big sideboard in there that I'll need to get the removal guys to get. But that's still gonna be a couple more trips. I know that this has been really, really chatty and you've not seen too much of the house because I'm saving that for the house tour which will be the next video that goes up after this one so that will give you the opportunity to have a look around if you want to and see what it is that I've actually bought really happy that I've got in here now I'm so so lucky to have been able to get this house so I was really really lucky with what I've been able to buy this for so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. I hope you guys enjoy following along. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you for the house tour.